Now, next question, we have a convergent geometric series consisting of only positive terms as the first term A, a constant ratio R, and the nth term Tn such that when we have sigma or the sum to infinity, it's equal to a quarter. Now we are given more information. If term 1 plus term 2 is equal to 2, write down an expression of A in terms of R. So we are given term 1 plus term 2 is equal to 2. And because it's geometric, term 1 is A, term 2 is A times R, and that is equal to 2. And I can factorize A and then divide both sides by 1 plus R. So A is equal to 2 over 1 plus R. Remember, term 1 is A to the power of R, 1 minus 1, which is equal to A. And term 2 is A times R to the power of 2 minus 1, which is A R. And in the next question, we have calculate the values of A and R. So first off, we are given that for this sigma notation with a lower parameter of 3 to infinity, it is equal to a quarter. But we need the first two terms as well. Because I want to start my lower parameter at the first term up until infinity. And I know that term 1 plus term 2 is equal to 2 plus a quarter, which is from term 3 up until infinity, before the rest of the terms. So the sum to infinity for this pattern is 2 and a quarter. Now we know that the sum to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r. And we also know from the previous question that a is equal to 2 over 1 plus r. So therefore, the sum to infinity is 2 over 1 plus r, which represents a over 1 minus r. And this is equals to 2 and a quarter. Now that can look a little bit overwhelming, so let's rewrite it a little bit. So 2 over 1 plus r divided by 1 minus r is equal to 2 and a quarter. And in order to remove the division, I can rewrite the 1 minus r as 1 over 1 minus r. And 2 and a quarter can be rewritten as 9 over 4. Now if I multiply out, I have 2 over 1 minus r squared because I multiply the numerators and I multiply out the denominators. And that is equal to 9 over 4. Then if I cross multiply, I have 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. And I have 9 times 1 minus r squared. So this is 8 is equal to 9 minus 9r squared. And if I rewrite it in standard form, so I have 0 is equal to 1 minus 9r squared. Then I can factorize because that's a difference of two squares. And therefore, r is equal to a third, or r is equal to negative one third. But the sum to infinity is two and a quarter, so the ra negative ratio would not be valid. So we know that r is equal to one third, and a is equal to two over one plus r.
which is the same as saying 2 over 1 plus a third. And if I rewrite this again, it is 2 divided by 1 plus a third. That is the same as saying is 2 divided by 4 over 3. And I can rewrite that in terms of multiplication. So it is 6 over 4. Therefore, A is equal to 3 over 2 if I simplify.